Hey guys, it's Chris. Today on the channel, we're going to be reviewing the Checkmate A1500 Mini. For some reason, whenever I do a review, there's only a couple left. The website says 15, but as of right now, I was told there are 10 of these models left. What is this? So this is the A1500 Mini. Now, if you don't know what this is, you have been living in a cave. Stephen Jones has been working on these cases and many more things for several years now. This is the smaller of the two. That's what the inspiration for this is. So as I unbox this, you're going to see a lot of similarities. And I'll even put it right up to the, a real, the original Commodore Amiga 3000. This is the ITS desktop computer case. We have the Mastering Amiga Amos, written by Phil Smith. Wow. You know, these are great manuals. This is a great quality manual, too. Look. Really good uh, quality paper. It reminds me of the original Amiga 2000 books with the binder. Or the We have a user manual telling you all about the case, all about the options, things you can do to it, all of the hundreds of add-ons. In memory of J Minor, thank you for the Amiga. That's an awesome little touch. We also get a copy, a copy of Amiga Forever Premium Edition 9. That covers your licensing. Good cardboard, too. I'm a stickler for packaging. This is the Unamiga ITX case. And I also opted for the Raspberry Pi 4 mounts, which are part of this. This is the face plates in this side. This is the power board, and the mount for that is underneath. Oh, and the board thing. This is the great part about the Raspberry Pi kit. You get the add-on board here that you plug into the side of a Raspberry Pi 4. Gives you the standard HDMI and 3.5 mil. Oh, a controller, USB controller. Looks like a Super Nintendo, a power cable. First impressions so far, the box, the quality, the documentation. This is awesome so far. I am very impressed. Here is the A1500 Mini. Yes, there are felt feet on the bottom. Look at this. Look how cool that is. Power button, green and yellow for power and drive. The vents that on this actually work. Here is my Amiga 3000 desktop. Now please take in mind that this is 30 years old and this is brand new. So is it exact? No, it's not exact and it's not supposed to be. It's an inspiration based on this. But look at the case. Look at that case got the same beveling, same lines, same pretty much everything. It is totally incredible. So far I'm highly impressed. Haven't even done anything with it yet. In this case is the Unamiga ITX for the Amiga Purist it says. Special limited offer pack uh, includes the following where available. White Checkmate 1500 Plus Mini Case the Unamiga ITX board with a white frame, a 200 watt power supply, a white PS2 keyboard and mouse kit with a USB adapter and Amiga key stickers. I will get that in a minute. Custom firmware supported USB gamepad, cheap but works, that's that Super Nintendo one. The manual and the AMOS manual, Amiga Forever 9 and a 3.1.4 Hyperion license. Micro SD card fully set up, ready to go. Wow. Includes a white USB keyboard and Cherry MX compatible keycap set for free while stock lasts. Performance. With AGA 2 mega chip, 20 meg fast. Performs like an Amiga 1200 with a 50 megahertz CPU. It's a low cost entry. Accurate Amiga emulation. AGA, OCS, ECS. And retargetable graphics. 2 mega chip, 20 mega fast. Can run some other cores too because this is an unAmiga which is like based on the mini mig relatively cool so no fan or heat sink is required due to lack of an arm core cannot run every 
mini MIG core because of the size of the FPGA. That's not what this is about. Has USB but not general USB support. Keyboards mice that support the PS2 protocol will work. So the webpage I'm getting all of this information from is Steve's webpage at checkmate1500plus.com. You can go there, check out all the options, the products. It's way more than I thought it was. Now in reality, I should just plug this in and turn it on. But I'm not gonna. I want to take it apart and I want to see what's inside of it first. Why? Because that's what you want to see also. Two screws in the back. Now to remove this case, you bring it back and you slide it down and it comes off. Not that hard, folks. Inside, stamp steel. You know what would be really neat? If they had the round rubber ink date, just like the original Commodore stuff was. Like when your machine went out the door, kind of like its birth date. Inside of this is the Mini ITX version of the Unamiga. You're thinking, wow, that looks like a DE10 Nano. No, it's not. This is a Mini Mig ish core. Cyclone 4. You do a Rana made this. There's a whole group of people here that contributed to this board. And even though this was sent to me as a review unit, it's really cool. I have a biased opinion about everything. I'm not going to steer you wrong. If something is bad, I'm going to let you know. Why? So you don't order it. Or if I have a problem with it. Or trouble. Or whatever. I'm going to let you know. Um, there's a 2032 battery cell. There is the wireless module. It says serial speeds. We're going to have to look into how that is even set up. I'll have to play with that. But it has a micro SD card in it, which means it has a mini MIG core and probably a hard drive image. Since it is officially licensed, you are pretty much turn and burn. Plug in the power, power switch, power lead, hard drive lead, HDD LED, it even has a floppy LED. So that's it. So on the back of the case we have our normal mains power, switchable between 115 and 230 UK, US, making sure that's in my proper thing so I don't smoke it. Four USBs on this mini ITX version, the two DB9s and a DB15 for a VGA monitor. I am going to put the lid back on, down underneath this lid, slide her up, don't run over your cables, fits on without problem, go figure. Quality of the metal, looks like folded steel, painted to match, quality of the holes and the cuts is like really good. No sharp edges, you're not going to go and stab yourself. Inside is just what the kit says. A PS2 keyboard with an adapter and Amiga, whoa, and Amiga key stickies. Okay, so that is that. There was also another keyboard in the box called a mechanical keyboard. And this one looks really cool too. Look at this keyboard. Oh! Dude. Dude, I should just use this one. Why do I gotta smell things? I don't know. That is top shelf. This is a Windows keyboard and that's why you get the stickers. You can get a Boing Ball sticker. Check those out. For now, I'm gonna stick these where I will lose them right there. All right, with that, we're just gonna go as the kit comes. I'm doing nothing special. Power, and press the button. Light comes on, uh, mini MIG core, there we go. Now we know what the box looks like, so I'm going to focus on the monitor. Oh, hey, check that out. So if you've ever watched Steven's video, so Steve's YouTube channel, his 3000 looks like this. So this is a licensed copy with a license you get in your box with your Mega Forever and your Cluanto licensing. Yep, 314. Licensed, uh, so you legally own it when you get your when you get your purchase there. And so this is a mini mig. So I'm gonna press F12. Yep. So it is a mini mig, just like the mini mig video I did, where you can do your configure chipset, 68 or 20, two megs of RAM, max RAM, kick 314, your scan lines, turbo, PAL, AGA, CD32 pad. You know what? I am highly impressed. I basically could have just plugged this in and turned it on. Turn key. Uh, let's see, tiny launchers on there. That's Launching nine figures. How does it run? How does it sound? F10 to quit.
seen this demo 8 million times in our lives, but it's still cool to watch every single time. Right, I'm going to stop that. Sysinfo, let's see. Sysinfo, does it do the 15 kilohertz screens? Yes, it does. And they look really good. 100 megahertz. Wow. All right, so here we go. I'm going to zoom in on the sysinfo results because everybody really cares about sysinfo for some reason. Well, 10,544 dry stones, 11 MIPS, no mega flops, no FPU. Got enough vitamins over here. Uh, 15 times faster than a 2,000. Funny because these are the same machines. 1,200, 8 times faster. Uh, 2.2 times faster than an O30 2000 and 5 times faster than the O20 2500. Memory, we have 20 megabytes of 32-bit fast RAM. We have 8 megs of fast RAM like the regular fast RAM. And 2 megs of chip. DH0 speed, 1.3. So the timing is on par. Okay, it has its own RTG mini MIG graphics just like the other mini MIGs do. This is in 1024 by 768, 8-bit. You can do a 15-bit and crank the colors up really good to 32,000. I'm going to do a use, and we're going to see what uh, 1024 by 768 high color looks like. I don't really think it matters, but yeah, it's for me, it's a little bit off. I'd have to do some overscan. I'm like highly impressed with this. I was going to put Pymega in here, and I don't even know if I have to now. Everything on this on Amiga board is set for maximum timing and maximum compatibility. Picasso is already set up. It's the original Picasso, now freeware. 1024 by 768. It will do 1280 by 1024. Wow. 1280 by 768 by 16 bit. Pretty impressive. And so launching Shapeshifter, I'm going to zoom in here. I'm just going to hit start. So you can see it says Mac OS, looks like 7 something, maybe 8, don't know, no problem. Uh, Macintosh, 761, I was right, 16 megs of RAM. Pretty neat, you have one volume on here with basic stuff. Your basic Mac install, you can download this from Apple for free now. Painter 1.2, stuff at Expander. So you get an Apple environment you could use on your virtual Amiga here. Shut down, and it should return you back to Workbench. Bam! Eagle Player's on here. We've got about 50 or so mods on here, I'd say. Directory Opus, probably four-ish, which is all free. I gotta try Pac-Mania with this controller, even though I am not a gamer at all. I just wanna see timing on the sound. Oh wow, it's in 3D. How many ghosts are there? I'm get oh, man. Really impressed. I'm a skeptical dude when it comes to these products. Pretty cool. I am highly impressed with the quality of this, the ease of setup, the ease of use. Everything that went into the making of this case and all the effort that Steve Jones has done, that is really cool. Check the amount. Look at even the coloring. Look at the color. The coloring of these keys. Really good tactile feel. I'm afraid to take the other board apart because I don't want to mess it up. Remember this is a review unit so thank you for sending this over for a review and like everything I review there is only like 10 or 15 of these things left and I don't know how many of the mini cases there are left but I know they're not gonna be around forever. So if there was ever a time in your life, and I know I say this with every product I review, if you don't get it soon, they're going to be gone. People are going to buy these up. Why? Number one, it's really cool. You're looking for someone to do a review, not just be like, oh, look at this, I can do this. No, I will dig into this. I will give you an honest review. It's metal. It's really strong metal. And if I knock too loud, my dog's going to bark. And it just works. It's a mini MIG core, so you can run other cores. I'm not saying you're going to have every core in the world, but you get the base cores, like I have the Miss Pac-Man core, I have an Atari core, a Sega Master System core, TurboGrafx-16, I think, is one of them, or 
PC Engine, as you might say, in other countries. Quality of the case alone, the build quality, the parts that are available, and what you can do with it. You don't have to have an Amiga in here. You can put your PC in here. You can put a Mini ITX. There's an Ethica board sitting at my feet inside of a glass case that would look a hell of a lot better in an Amiga looking case. This Checkmate 1500 case looks so much like the real 3000 over there. The front is spot on. It is actually a match for Jesse PLA Amiga 500 color. This is my, there you go, this is my 3000 Tower Lake. You can see they friggin' match. This is a brown Amiga 3000 Tower original leg. It's just, which is almost the size of the entire case. The pearl white is like not white. It's not white white. It's not like white white. It's like this, but a little lighter. I think it looks great. This is Steven's tribute to and the based upon, and I really, really like this a lot. So I just looked on his website, and there's these little brass gold looking stands you can put on here too under the feet there are so many options I like checking out new things I check them out and kinda of put them through their paces so you don't have to what I'm really impressed about not just because of the Unamiga board inside which there's apparently only a couple left now I missed out on the Unamiga board when Edu Arana first released it I think Doug got one and Aaron Got one from the Amigos podcast and or the Amigos Gaming Network. And that was the only two I saw. It doesn't get hot at all. Altera 4, Cyclone, Arana Net. I have to figure out the Wi-Fi thing. I'm going to look into that. But that's not for this video. Look at that little power supply. Just for cross-reference. Here's a big meat mullet. Look at that. Look at them fat fingers. Uh, if you were to use another device on here, of course you have your 24 pin ATX connector and it does have the slide out for the 20 if you were going to put something in there that needed it. You also get two SATAs and two 4 pin Molexes. Uh, one thing that is missing on here is a Berg connector but you can use those with the simple uh, Molex to Berg splitters. With the Unamiga board, you can run Amiga game pads and mice. You get a case sticker for the front. It says Checkmate A1500. Even on the cutout metal here, it's smooth. You're not going to cut yourself. High attention to detail and high quality control in this case. There isn't a sharp edge on it. Plenty of screw mounts, anchor points, and other locations to mount all sorts of things. Even on the Unamiga ITX version, which I was not expecting that, Steven, so pleasant surprise on that. And now that I found out there's only 15 left at the time of filming this video, so there could be less by the time it comes out. If you guys are interested in acquiring one of these cases, or even this Unamiga ITX version, they're not going to be around forever. If you miss out, you're just going to miss out. That's how it is in Amiga world. When a product comes out, you got to jump on it right away. And then if you don't, a lot of times they don't get restocked. They were one-hit wonders. It's like you miss out a lot. And I've missed out a lot. So now I'm making sure that as soon as something comes out, I'm trying to get it, if I can, as soon as possible. But usually if I wait, I miss out. And it sucks. There are metal pieces for everything from floppy drives to PC, this, to video holders to CD-ROM slot load and power supply on Amiga fan thing and 500, 1200 keyboard through hole power supply doohickey vitamins. <laughs> this is the Unamiga ITX Checkmate A1500 Mini. Quality of even the box is just top shelf. And the keyboards and the controllers and the mouse even Check out Steven's site at Checkmate1500plus.com. Links in the description below. Jump on board if you're interested. There's only a couple of these left. You know how it works when I make a video. They all sell out. The price on this is expensive-ish. Not really for all you get. This was 400 monies. If you're in the UK, it might be a little higher because you have VAT. 
outside of the UK, based on your exchange rate, not too bad. You get an Onamiga ITX with a DE10 Nano compatible emulator dude Cyclone 4 FPGA. Isn't that what a vampire has? A power supply and the mouse and the king. The Mega Forever, the 314 license, micro SD card, ready to go. This is the Unamiga ITX bundle. Everything you see in this picture here, fully assembled, ready to go. Isn't that cool? Thank you guys for watching. Please check out the website. And if you're interested in this, there's like 15 left in the world and they're not coming back. So if there was ever a chance you wanted a pure, awesome, emulated Amiga that is fully licensed and you even get some copies of some software and license keys and stuff for your usage, that is really incredible and a hell of a deal. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps you in your decision. Thank you, Stephen Jones, for sending this over for review. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you learned something.